between the Judgment Day, Rhodes and company. And I'd say that was a superb act of diplomacy from Rhea Ripley, calling Damian Priest the leader of the group for War Games. Give the man a little, satiate him somewhat. The man has been a real powder keg of late. You don't want to set him off. You need him focused. He seems happy for now. Damian Priest taking some shots at both Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes earlier on tonight. I mean, that was incredibly smart, I thought. Twist the knife, bring some of those old wounds back to the surface. So division against your opponents. Oh, a uh, well, priest uh, reminding the people on Jey Uso's team and, that he was once part of the bloodline. And then he screwed over each person on his War Games team at some point in the past. Yeah, Uso understands more than anyone the dangers of the Judgment Day. And the numbers game that they often employ, he was the big, one of the biggest beneficiaries of the bloodline using that tactic. Yeah, now the ball underway, and it's going to be a rough night for the official Chad Patton in this matchup to try to keep these teams separated as this match continues. Well, we still have rules in this kind of matchup, but war games, those rules kind of go out of the window once all competitors are in that giant cage. Yeah, there won't be disqualifications or countouts in war games. Unlike tonight, where the tag champs have the advantage because Uso and Rhodes must pin or submit the champs to win the titles. Yeah, despite this being so volatile, oh! both teams really have to tread a fine line with the referee keeping an eye on everything. Mentioned earlier tonight that Sami Zayn and this man, Jey Uso, the only members of that matchup who've had War Games experience coming up a week from Saturday. And here comes Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes from the top rope off the tag. Right after Finn Balor. It's been a cohesion here already between Jay and Cody. They've got to the mountain top once before. It was a short-lived trip up there. Can they return for a second bite of the cherry? Nice vertical suplex by Cody Rhodes planting Finn Balor. Cover by Rhodes, who's made a lot about finishing the story over the past number of months. Damian Priest took a shot at that earlier tonight and said, Cody, you can beat all these guys, but... He can't beat the champion, and that had to sting for Cody Rhodes. Sure it did, but it's vital for Jay and Cody to remove those tag championships from Judgment Day. Sami Zayn said it last week, the concentration of gold in the Judgment Day is getting us close to Bloodline 2.0, and that is the last thing this locker room wants. Yeah, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, iceberg here tonight, because that's what War Games is all about. The control and the power here on Monday Night Raw. Who does the power truly lie with? We will find out at War Games. Yeah! Now Damian Priest using his power to take control of the match. Jey Uso does not want to be in that corner. Two-time tag champ, Balor and Priest. Damian Priest has really come into his own over the past 12 months here. You know, for me, it started with that matchup he had with Bad Bunny in Puerto Rico. That was the moment Damian Priest knew he was a star and destined for the absolute top oh! in this industry. And he's been up and up ever since. Booker T-like on that kick by Finn Balor, almost putting Uso away. Careful, little subpoena. I've had problems with him before. Again, let's take a look at the double team by the Judgment Day. And Priest somewhat has to kind of play babysitter to an extent to Damian Priest at the moment with his hot-headed nature. And this is for the undisputed tag team titles here live tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Judgment Day champs, the challengers, Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso. Jay Uso now mounting Finn Balor and pounding away. Ground and pound, but it's backfired on Jay. Had that flurry of attack, but so well schooled, so well experienced is Balor. And now Cody wants a slice of the action. And Cody Rhodes and Damian Priest had some big time problems. And Remember their battle at Crown Jewel a couple of weeks back. All things were resolved, but Damian Priest did not appreciate the loss on that night. Hey, Rhodes and Uso are in control. Can they win the tag titles? And there goes our table again. Championship night here tonight on Monday Night Raw in our main event, undisputed tag team titles. Judgment Day, defending against Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso. 
And Jey Uso trying to fight back against Finn Balor. Judgment Day has dominated much of this matchup. Yeah, it's been an absolute disaster thus far for Jey Uso, but what a tight turner that is. Adrenaline is spiking right now. And now Cody Rhodes in off the tag, looking to turn things around. Cody with a nice knee to the midsection of Balor. Get up. Again, you can just feel the tension, the pressure, as we get ready for war games a week from Saturday in Chicago. Tag championship is huge, but there is so much more riding on this matchup. Oh, and Finn Balor, oh. rake of the eyes, Priest had referee Chad Patton distracted, and Finn Balor took advantage. Well, you can just see the growth in Judgment Day over the past number of months as a team, Wade. Yeah, the synchronization in mindsets between Damian Priest and Finn Balor grows week upon week, and they've already held that tag championship for a significant amount of time. And you got to give Damian Priest credit as well. Earlier tonight, uh, he delivered the uh, the Judgment Day cut to uh, to JD McDonough. Yeah, how about that? After about six months of trying, dedicating himself, JD McDonough is in. Damian Priest wouldn't even give him a free t-shirt last week. Well, J.D. McDonough took a bullet for Priest earlier tonight. He also will be representing Judgment Day in the War Games match. And the addition of J.D. McDonough makes this unit stronger and more dangerous than ever. Now, let's go Cody Chance. Bringing through the Capital One Arena as Cody tries to fight back in this. But Priest just does such a good job. He's just a, a punishing man. Yeah, I admire the strike, the use of those long limbs to keep opponents at bay. Oh, what a chop! You can see Cody grimace. Let's go. Let's go. And Finn now off a chop in a right hand. Cody sent hard across the ring. Able to... Kick his way out of the corner. Yeah. Balor with a abdominal stretch. Balor just about pulled away from that kick in the nick of time. Didn't catch the worst of it. A glancing blow of Cody, I don't think, was aware. But pouncing back into action and getting back on top. Yeah, Jay Uso realizes Cody's in trouble. Would love to make a tag and get in this match. Uso, one of the most prolific tag team champions in WWE history. 50% of the greatest team in history, but it's a very different equation now with a relatively new partner in Cody Rhodes against a team like the Judgment Day. You see how Balor, he had Rhodes in the abdominal stretch. As soon as Rhodes started to rally a little bit, he quickly made the tag to Priest. And now Cody fighting back yet again. Priest sends Rhodes. Rhodes across the ring. Telegraph that. Cody made him pay. Damien, though, lifts Cody up high. Oh. And Priest, oh my goodness, Cody done. Kick out of two. The ever expanding playbook of the Judgment Day, specifically Damien Priest. The one he was going for here was the tombstone. Flattened out Cody. Again, softening up. The entire body of Rhodes, who is really starting to struggle in this one. And Priest realizes that, wants to isolate Cody from his corner. Right to the kidneys again. Solid blow by Priest. Going to continue to work on the back of Rhodes. Was going for a back suplex. Rhodes, though, able to land on his feet. Duck underneath. Tag. Here comes Jay. And Jay Uso now the legal man taking the fight to Damian Priest. Uso kick to the midsection. The yeet chance. Jay looking fresh as a daisy. Now uh, Jay launched out to the apron. No respite for Priest though. Listen to the yeet chance off every time Jay Uso connects. Doesn't sound cool when you say it though, Cole. Uh, step up in Zagari.